good afternoon and welcome it is episode four of the road to glory series now if you were watching the last episode you can see there that manchester city beat us in the carabao cup which means we are out and we're not in for a cup run this season or are we because we have got the fa cup at some point in january um so for this episode we are going to play against Tottenham Hotspur, Liverpool, Crystal Palace and West Ham United and then at the start of the January transfer window it has just come through now that we are playing Reading in the FA Cup. So we will get them games out of the way so we'll finish with the Reading FA Cup game uh, and then episode 5 will be the next four and uh, an FA Cup game as well. Um, but we are here today. As you can see, December for us has been terrible. Uh, we lost against Southampton 3-1. We've lost against Chelsea 3-1. We drew with Everton 2-2. And we lost uh, against City in the round of 16 in the Carabao Cup. And we have been knocked out. Uh, which is a bit bad. Uh, as well, uh, if anybody actually saw the description of episode 3, uh, I did actually go and revisit the Manchester City game uh, in a different save. I haven't saved it uh, at all in any of the games. I just went back to revisit to see what would happen if I played them again. I beat them 4-2. So if that just tells you that the game's a bit fucked, they beat me 3-1 in this. I went back after the stream and tried again 4 2 of one 4 fucking 2 i was fuming but we are out so i cannot change that uh and that is the rules of the road to glory series um we're about to face tottenham and my team doesn't look very happy they all look absolutely knackered so i'm gonna have to change some players coming into this game Which is irritating because, well, I was about to say that my team's been doing really well, but they haven't. So, to be quite fair, let's give them a change. We'll have Eric Peters and Phil Bartley. In that sentence, instead of him, we'll have Josh Brownhill. And there's a change. I'm going to put Brady up here. I'm not right instead of Goodmanson. And we'll put Ashley on uh, Ashley Barnes instead of Matej Vidra. Uh, and we'll see where that gets us. Because we are away from home. We are at uh, Tottenham Hotspur's brand new stadium. Um, I've not been yet. Uh, I don't think I will actually. Uh, potentially in the future. But not as of yet do I have plans to go to Tottenham. We don't, uh, I can, we don't seem to do too well against Tottenham and Burnley. So I'm not potentially not going to visit. So let's get this game underway and oh, hopefully we get a win in this because it would be nice that December isn't as shit it is, as it is portraying to be uh, because obviously we lost in near enough every game so far except from Everton where we drew. So, let's get the game underway. Hopefully, we have a good one. I can sense the danger already. Introducing the Spurs starting eleven. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Ben Davis starts alongside Joel Matip in central defence, and the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. McNeil. I'm just trying to pass it around a little bit, try and get myself into areas. Oh, there we are. Oh, we're in the lead. Can we keep it though? That's what I wanted. I wanted to create space by passing around. 
And it did. It created a, a lovely gap for Chris Wood. Well, we're in the lead. Can we have the end of December being decent for once? But it's a goal, an early goal as well. Five minutes and Chris Wood gets his sixth goal in the Premier League. So we're not doing too bad. Chris Wood. We've got the January transfer window around the corner as well. I don't have much money in the bank. So to be quite fair, people coming in, it is going to be very limited. Very, very, very limited. In fact, probably no one's going to come. But at the same time, is anyone going to leave? No, I'm not letting anybody leave at the moment. Maybe loans for players that are, uh, are not used. Eric Peters getting quite down there, isn't he? Jesus. Oh! And we were in again. Well, that weren't bad. I still don't like corners. If anybody knows me, they'll know I'm not a fan of the corners in FIFA at the moment. They just seem to not work out very well. I do like Human Son as a player. He is pretty decent. Oh, he's just lost the ball there, Bardsley, for nothing. And then he goes and gets it back. I'm all right with that. Even though he's 69 rated, but he is ancient, really. Phil Bardsley. He keeps the ball that time. There we go. Start on that trail. Peters against Gareth Bale. Oh, and it's in again. And it is Chris Wood once more. So we're 2-0 up. Well, it's fantastic. I'm quite happy with that. I feel like this is going to be a win. I'm not even putting any effort in this game. Chris Wood. This is still on legendary mode, by the way. I haven't made any changes to it. Alright, we can even check after the game. I haven't done anything. Like, these are just not moving for a reason or another. I have no idea. The scripting. Scripting, that's what it is. They are running. It's just when they choose to run. It's mad. Difficult to stop him. Oh, he's, he's just walked past Tarky, oh, hasn't he, there? Mm, it's, it's a bit easy, this. What's going on? I'm keeping the ball. I'm running with it. They seem to be struggling. If it's a Bashley. Oh, he's, I've lost it. He's lost it. Well, he's got two goals already, Chris Wood. Could he get a hat-trick? I doubt it. It's, it's, oh, I've just brought him down, Anna, with Peters. I feel they're getting a bit more on the ball now. And I'm struggling in terms of getting it back. So they're starting to play football now, aren't they? Tottenham, here they come with uh, him in Son. Tarky with a, a block, but only out for a corner. Oh, the Pope should get that. Oh, no. no, no, he doesn't. He likes to parry it away, does our dearest Pope, according to FIFA. Throwing here for Spurs. 
Oh well, that was uh, that was quite bad, do. Eric Peters. A bit Peters. There we go, Brownhill. Come on, find him. Give it Barnes. Barnes can run. He's like Jan Vertonghen on it. There we go. It's Bashley for the third goal. Well, this is uh, this is rare. This seems really easy. I'm going to have a little check at half time to see what's happening because this seems too easy. Like, I feel as though something's going on. Oh, I'm just giving that. That was, that was shocking. Who did that? Westwood. I'm just going to have a little check at half time just to see the settings and the stats and stuff just to see what's going on because these seem like I'm through again. Like if he keeps it on his feet, he's, he's doing a hat trick and he's got it. I'm having a look at settings. This seems too easy. It's 4 0. Chris Wood's got a hat trick. Has something changed that I've not done? This seems like Tottenham don't give a shit. Just having a little look, just having a little. Ooh. That's why. So we're just uh, we're just gonna restart this now, because that's basically null involved. Uh, because. The setting stats were all the way down. I do not know why, because I, I don't mess with them. I know where to go, because I know where they are. But I don't touch them. So the first game, null and void. I wonder if my brother's been messing around with the console, because uh, I don't touch it. After yesterday's stream, I didn't go on feet for again, except from playing the City game. Now, this is more like Tottenham. They're playing. That's better. Can I still get a win, though? So, obviously, we were 4-0 in the lead. We had that trick for Chris Wood. Pretty decent. Goal for Ashley Barnes. Uh, now, the, the settings are sorted and nobody's messing around with my Xbox anymore. We are back. I had a goal by now. Ah, oh, I've just brought Joel Celso down on the outside of the box. Into the box it goes. And the ball's gone. One thing Tottenham know how to do is defend. That's been the case. Oh, I thought he would have taken it around regular. Can't argue with that. Well, Derek, it's the forward you see smiling when the team's defence is as solid as a rock. Because they know that just one goal might win them the game. And then they'll be the hero. But we defenders don't mind that. We'll share in the glory. Chris Wood. Wood with it. Westwood. Wood. And that was more of a foul. Jesus, that ball went quite far then. Reguilon. Matip now. Davis. Oh, Matip. Winks. I don't. D did he leave? Has he left? I don't think he's left fucking. Oh, Liverpool, has he? He wouldn't have gone to fucking Tottenham. Moving into the advanced position. Not saying that Tottenham's a bad club, but I'm just saying that Liverpool probably wouldn't have sold him. But I don't know. I didn't keep an eye on the transfer window because I knew Burnley wouldn't have got anything. But I do like watching Dead, uh, Deadline Day. It's quite interesting just watching all the deals from lower clubs going through and stuff like that. Oh, what a chance from Harry Winks. I do like Harry Winks. He ain't bad, but he is injury prone. So if you get him, he's, he's more likely to pick up an injury for nothing. Davis. 
a lovely work to get past his man. Can he finish? No. Fuck it, he fought. Stole the cell thought. So Tottenham are in the lead. Got to kind of try and pick up the pace, aren't I, really? Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, get up, Les Elso. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. I wish the AI would help you a bit more. Because they don't do anything. They just stand there watching the ball going around. Get involved with the game like like EA said they would. But they don't. They don't do anything. I didn't want that to go to Pope. I didn't want that to go to Bardsley. Oh, come on. That weren't a good challenge, that. He picked up a yellow. That was quite bad. Proper took him out there. Eh? Brownhill. Brownhill, Brownhill. Meant to keep the fucking ball. Doherty. What a strange transfer that way. I remember that. He went from Wolves to... One of the last two English players to play at Wolves. And one of them left. I think he's... I don't know, he could be Irish as well, I don't know. That's going out. It is. That's a goal kick. Well, I feel... Oh, well, no. I wanted that to go to James Tarkowski and White decided he wanted to go to flipping Phil Bardsley anyway. Why he's not up there? Oh, fucking hell. So that's an error from the system again, and it, it's messing me up, it's messing my season up, all because the computer's deciding what I need to do and what, where I'm passing and stuff like that. I didn't want to go anywhere towards Phil Bardsley, James Tarkowski were free, so I don't know why he decided that James Tarkowski weren't a decent place to do anything in. Can I get a goal back? No, probably not. Yeah, I preferred the fucking 4 0 we had in first place. So, yeah, a dismal first half. Again, computer giving me errors. Uh, and something that EA really needs to sort out because clearly. Summit's going wrong because it's just it's just making passes up for me. Like, why isn't Dwight McNeil walking through? That's a penalty. Just brought him down on the ball. They need to sort that bit of the game out as well. I have played many, many Ultimate Team games and many career mode games. I keep getting brought down in the box, yet the referee says nothing about it. And I don't know what it is. Is it because I keep possession afterwards? Is it because I get back up and I still have the ball? Because I have watched them and I'm like, they don't even touch the ball. I've like watched them back on the instant replays and stuff and they never, ever touch the ball. Or, oh, again, it's doing it. Where it's deciding my passes for me, it's not listening to what I'm inputting. I wanted that to go to Barnes and it instead wanted to go to Wood. So it started to piss me off again with that. A 
Was that a corner? Blimey, I thought that would come off me, to be fair. Deli Alley, a player I do feel bad for at Tottenham is Deli Alley. I don't know what it is, but ever since Jose Mourinho's coming, it's like he's taken a massive, massive dislike to uh, Deli Alley. And when someone's morale is hit so low to where he is being unused, he's on the bench constantly. Of course, when he comes on, he ain't going to perform well for you. He's kind of giving up on the club. I just won't be a second. Sorry about that, I just had a phone call. Apparently, uh, I'm looking for a loan of a thousand pounds. Really not. I was half excited. I wanted uh, have you been involved in a car crash? Josh Brownhill. A really sumptuous ball. Just needs to stay calm. Oh, come on. Now can they counter clinically? I really didn't want that to be passed. I wanted him to shoot, but he passed it. Why? Why, EA? Why does this do this? I wanted him to shoot from that position. He were in a decent area. Just turn and fucking shoot. But he wanted to fucking pass it. Jeez, I would have rather have started with the 4 0. That would have been better. Oh my god, he's just walking through us. What? Well, I'm le I've learned from my previous one to not launch my controller because I broke my headset. I've been really struggling, but this is actually just. No. I feel like I I'm, I'm going to Pez next year because this is goddamn awful. It's picking where my passes are going. It's not where I've pointed my stick or anything like that. It's where the system decides. It doesn't really care. For the second goal, I wanted the ball to go to Tarkowski. It decided it wanted to go to Phil Bardsley instead. Oh, we can't even get a goal back. Oh, well, we've, we may as well end the fucking game here. And we've lost 3-0 this time. And we're starting to lose results. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely blaming the system. There is no way on earth that the passes that I've been doing is because of my fault. I'm aiming directly at the players I'm wanting it to go to and it's deciding somewhere totally bloody different. And EA needs to sort it out or next season's uh, road to glory is going to be on fucking Pez. McNeil. Ashley Barnes. And Barnsley on the ball. Oh, he's offside. Yeah, that's not going in. Well, can our season change? Can we beat Liverpool next? There's uh, there's nothing I can do. I can't bring anybody in in January. We've got no money in the bank. Something needs to change because we are struggling at this part of the season. We were eighth. We've probably gone down it now because well, we're losing. And I, I would have rather have taken the bloody stats uh, settings being down and winning 4-0. But hey up. Oh, that's the end of the first one. Irritating and a bad loss. But nothing I can do about it. We go to the next game.
uh, and pray for more results. We pray for a win against Liverpool, to be quite fair. We are eighth, though. We are two points behind Manchester City and Everton are two points behind us. Can we keep it that way or are we going to lose in Mersey? Could a win be on the sheets here? Liverpool are first uh, in the league table. I'm not putting Ashley Barnes on. He didn't do too good in that last game, but then again, neither did bloody Wood. But can we beat Jurgen Klopp, uh, Klopp, Klopp, Klopp? Jurgen Klopp's side? Can we beat them? This season they'd be quite easy. And yes, Burnley did beat them and it started their massive rut. If you look back to their first real loss, by the way, um, you'll see that Burnley got about an 86-minute penalty against them and that realistically started their huge, dismal downfall. Uh, it was, it's been quite bad for them in a sense uh that they've, they've just been losing games ever since then and yes fair enough uh it was burnley beat them it was massive it was their 69th home game where they were unbeaten and then we came and we tore that apart basically ripped up the script book um but and then Fulham beat them. Teams like that were starting to beat them. And then it was kind of like, oh, Burnley. You know, everybody thought that but it weren't Burnley that were just special at beating Liverpool. But we started that. I feel like when we came and we beat them at Anfield, I feel like that's set in a bit of motion where they were like, oh. Oh, I have people worked out Liverpool like they have with uh, Sheffield United. Because that's what I feel has happened there. Sheffield United had a game play and how to play the game. And I feel like ever since uh, this next season, teams have worked out how to play against them and they know what to do, where to go, and they, ha they haven't changed it. They haven't changed the mentality. And that's why they're getting beat all the time. Is that why? It's because teams have worked them out. And it, it, but if that's the case, when the why haven't worked Burnley out where we do 4-4-2 and we do long balls constantly, why hasn't that been worked out? I know all the time that we're playing City, we lose 5-0, 3-0. We lost 2-0 last time. I'm quite impressed with that because we didn't lose uh, that much. I was... Oh, come on, Taylor. I, I'm used to a 5-0 beating from uh, City. Right, I'm not losing 3-0 today. My full team's back out. He can get up. It annoys me that they take so long on the ball to turn and then you watch these and they spin round like knobheads. Oh, wow. Well, we start again. Clearly, this is a, another game that I'm going to lose. He's offside. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, come on! What the fuck? For what? That was just absolutely shit. We are just absolutely disappointing. Of 
can't even keep the ball for long. Right. Johan Bergumanson, move. What is he doing? He's just sat there. He's moved the ball. Oh, no. Keep it. Keep it. Go on. Oh, you stupid lemon. How much of an easier chance do you need given to you on a plate? He took the ball back and then well, fucked the it up. The share of it's to How shit do you have to be? Hey, finally! Back in it, we've got to go home. And he picked so Robertson's pocket to get past that. Robertson was trying to get back on that, but he just couldn't do anything about that. That's a good looking ball. Playing with purpose and control. Oh, thank you, Marnie. Thank you. Johan Berg Goodwinson. Vidra. Vidra, Vidra, why are you backing into fucking Van Dyke? Just fucking move away from the idiot. The best defender in the Premier League, and you want to fart arse with his fucking going into it. Oh, fuck off. Right, move. Oh, he's in the open. Can Vids do it? Yes, he can. And we're back. We are level. What a way to do it. The defence were moving over towards... Uh, I think it was Chamberlain. And they let us through. Can we get the win now? If they hadn't got that penalty, which I think I don't, I didn't even watch it. Were it a penalty? Probably not. Probably. And I feel as though again he was offside there, Salah. I think it was that Marnie that were, he was offside originally, and why he didn't go as an offside uh, decision, I don't know, because he he really did look like he were off. And I'd rather just boot that away, far away. Well, I'd rather keep it at 2-2 um, at half-time. Pretty decent. To get back into the game, pretty decent from Liverpool as well with their goals. The penalty, were it a penalty? Probably not. Uh, Marne did look like he was offside when he was on the ball. Uh, and then he somehow got brought down by Nick Pope. Uh, who, I, I remember the days of, if it was a penalty in the box, it was a red card. Um, just, I just brought him down and that weren't a foul. Is, is the ref all right? I don't think he's watching today's game. I think he's watching something else. Oh, we've just lost the ball in the easiest of areas. And that's why. This is why this game is so shit. Why do I have to close that to fucking delete something off my laptop? Stupid thing. Well, we've got to get back in it again. The defence seems to have just opened up. Uh, and I, I can't explain why, because I don't get it, honestly. I'm sorry, but De De December is a month where every team goes against about five others in the in the in the course of the month. Why their team isn't tired? 
I have no idea. Now that ball then. Why? 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 Why didn't you just keep it, Westwood? He looks offside then. Oh! At least it's fucking Milner. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, laptop. Why do you need my fucking internet browser closed to delete that? I have fucking no idea. Oh, for fuck's sake. Even my players won't go two on one. Look! Governor's just walked away! Help with the fucking sick door! Oh, just let him through me. Yeah. Oh my god. Why does he parry it away every given moment? FIFA need to change that. Goalkeepers, every time the ball comes near them, they do not parry it away. They catch it off the fucking time. And I feel like FIFA need to watch a few football games because wherever their, goal, well, their goalkeepers have parried it away. Oh, well, I'm back in. I'm all right. Sorry, I was concentrating on Vidra then. But I've never seen goalkeepers parry it away as much as they do in FIFA. It's mad. Every ball that comes towards them, it's parried away. They don't try and catch it. They don't even try to grab hold of it. But yet in FIFA, every ball that goes near them, it's punch it away. Do that. Punch that. Punch this. Punch that. No, catch the fucking ball. But we're back in it. Matic Vidra getting me a goal. And he's now lost the ball again. Well, I feel like that was a foul from Virgil van Dijk. But are we in for getting a point? Or are we in for losing them all? Oh, come on. He's just back heeled it. Charlie Taylor were behind him. Oh, come on! Are you taking the pace? One, Salah back heeled it with Charlie Taylor behind him. That wouldn't work. That wouldn't happen. He's fucking behind him. So how he's back heeled it away from him, no idea. And why? Fuck it, whoever would just block him fucking while Nandam from coming through just stepped away. So it's a, 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 potentially another loss again. Because the game well and truly fucks you over. And FIFA, if you don't sort it out, then yes, I'm moving to Pez. Because it's fucking shit. The only game mode you concentrate on is FIFA Ultimate Team, and that is it. If you want to concentrate on Ultimate Team so goddamn much, bring a mode out, bring its own game out for FIFA Ultimate Team. Stop fucking around with the entire game just to concentrate on the shit that gets you the most money. If that's what you want to do, just bring that out. Fuck career mode, fuck kickoff mode, fuck everything else, and just bring Ultimate Team out. Because that's all you are, honestly, that's all you show any care about. Fucking bullshit. That didn't look like a penalty. When he was going for that, it didn't look like a penalty. That as well was just bullshit. Target moved away from him. Why? Why the fucking earth did he do that? He wouldn't do that in real life, so why the game makes him do that, I have no idea. 
this is where FIFA needs to come up and say that's that you know this is what you need to do I hope we win against Palace because we've had an absolute dismal dismal December honestly shit and I've just seen a Sky Sports tweet as well that says Gareth Bale plans to end his Tottenham spit at the state at the end of the season and return to Real Madrid. Why? Why? Real Madrid do not like him. Did he not work it? Has he not worked it out yet? Or does he just want to go back playing golf? Because he's regained some form at Tottenham. He's played pretty decent. Why you'd want to end being at Tottenham at the end of the season and return to a club that despises him. I have no idea. Why would you do that to yourself? And if I was in the position of Gareth Bale and I was at Real Madrid, getting booed by the fans constantly, getting disrespected by your own manager, yes, pissing off and going to play golf when you should be on the pitch or something like that, I won't go back there. I'd be turning around and saying, mate, rip my contract up, I'd rather be here. Uh, I've regained my form, I'm, I'm, I'm scoring goals, you're obviously not going to play me there, you've got better things going on in your life. Fuck going back. Right, Crystal Palace, I want a win. Because the last few games have been absolutely shit. And there's no way to explain it. Because I near enough got a draw and I would have been happy with a draw, but James Tarkowski just decided to wander out of the way of Van Amdum who got the shot on. Oh, Wood is so slow on the ball. I don't think they've learnt from the mistakes. I'm not saying Wilfred's a ha. Oh, what are you doing? Chamberlain, man, there was a fucking opportunity there for you to fucking run and you just piss off into wood. Oh, wow, I, 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 I give up, I give up. The, co the complete game is just fucked. I honestly don't understand. Yeah, Chamberlain's been really, really good for me. He gets into space, he does stuff, and then he just plays complete crap for the the rest of the fucking games i don't understand it the past five games he's been shit i feel like i might just put brownhill on all the time now because it's getting to the point of where you either need to perform well or go away because you're obviously not doing anything for me look he's just stepped back he's not really interested I don't know what to do here because clearly the game don't want me to do anything. Clearly, the game does not want me to do it. I know that Chris Wood can jump quite high, but it makes him jump like fucking. He's got lead in his fucking boots. Bringing him back to earth. Even keep the ball now. Are you? I'm gonna have to change something realistically. I'm gonna have to change some tactics because the way they're playing, 
they're just not good at all. They're not good enough. They're not doing anything well for me. They're losing balls in areas that they shouldn't be realistically losing them in. It's a good shot from uh, Goodmanson, but I don't think it would have got in anyway. Every fucking time from corners. I'm and then why is there now nobody in the box? That annoys me. They know it's going to come back in because it's gone to my player. Why are they moving up? Why is everybody darting out? Patrick Van Arnholt seeming to fucking run past every other person in the world. Why? Why are you parrying it, you fucking idiot? Pick the fucking ball up. What a fucking mong. Get the ball in your hands. It's what the bloody there for. It's the one job you can do. Oh... Chamberlain, fuck off. You have done absolute piss poor since fucking December's come in. You're my top goal scorer in the league and you're not showing it. You just, well, top goal scorer for my club. You're not showing it. You're showing that you're just nothing. You're showing that that 20 odd mil that I've spent on you was just a waste of cash, a waste of time. Oh, what are you doing? Why have you just hit it backwards? What? What is wrong with him? This headset's really pissing me off now. So I actually don't know if you can hear me or not. The one I've had to close fucking my web... Uh, the uh, stream manager because I've had to bloody sort out someone's iPhone. And it needed me to close down my internet for some strange, strange reason. Right, well, something needs to change because they've been piss poor again. I feel like there's nothing, there's nothing working for the team. They're not putting enough effort in to get the ball. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And the AI is not helping me, which is just annoying. Like, offside? Hmm. Was he though, FIFA? Or is it his fucking toenail were offside? Or his shoulder, his armpit, or his fucking cock? No, he hasn't. He hasn't got anything right. Oh, Wood, what are you doing? Why has he just done that? Honestly, I'm, I'm selling Chris Wood. He is absolutely piss poor. I'd rather have fucking some shit... Uh, striker from somewhere else because he is absolutely shit. It fucks me off how they just fucking wander past you constantly and they don't put a foot in. Oh! Wow! We fuck me. I, 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 I'm actually. I do not know what to say. I don't know what to say at all now. I, I've gone past the point. I thought I'd set this series up because I'd really enjoy it, and actually, it's making me want to just quit FIFA altogether and delete the thing off my Xbox because clearly there's something wrong with it. Clearly, the FIFA have got some fucking questions to answer. 
Number 17. That now is the time Tom, to go to the bench. To be replaced by Jean-Philippe Mateta. James Tonkin. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Ah, Gary Cahill, 74 8, he's just dicked fucking wood on the floor. And then Jeffrey Schlupp does that. Why is he why has he got Wilfred Zaha as a sub? Is he alright? Is the game alright? I don't care. January winter comes, he's going, he's gone. I don't give a shit. Oh, it's just fucking, it's just piss now. Fuck off, Millvore Jeffick, you fucking. Alright, that's a foul, but that one isn't. Oh, fuck off! That wasn't a foul earlier when he just fucked me off on my back, but that was. Oh, that's just bullshit. Something's got to change. This is just bullshit. Get off my fucking pitch, you waste the fucking space. Clearly something's going wrong here because they are not doing anything. It's like they have no desire. Like now, they're not even moving. Move somewhere. Oh! Wow! Why has Barnes just deciding he wants to move back? That That's just irritating me more now. You're a striker moving to the striking position in the box. It's what you're there for. Why he's wanting to go on the outside of the box? Just because fucking Brownhill's there with the ball. No, I'm wanting you to fucking move forward into that position. Vidra. Don't be a knob. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not happy with this game. Why? Why? Why there? Why now? Why now? Why? Just why? Nah, I give up. I give up. This is shocking. Why? Just go down in the box! If someone's sliding you, fucking go down, get the penalty! Why do you have to fucking stay up constantly? Just fucking go down, take the fucking penalty! Last minute, going through on ball, if someone slides in, fuck off on the floor! Fuck me! What a bunch of idiots! And we lose again! I feel like searching his FIFA scripted, I bet you he says yeah. Boss, I've got to be honest with you, I feel quite upset. I'll fucking play better, I'll fucking... You know, I won't be as much of a fucking knob.
if that doesn't start making a difference to my teams, then I have no idea what to do because I don't know. We've gone through a full December of um, so far of not getting anything, not getting a draw against fucking Everton. We're having a piss poor December. And why we're playing so sh goddamn shit. I have no idea. But I'm still a bit annoyed with the fact that James Tarkowski just walked away from Wijnandum when they scored. I could have had a draw there. That's just irritating. I need that page, Ben. I can now use my laptop in the normal way now. Let's see, this doesn't work. He gets control he wants, and then from there on, he controls himself. That needs sorting, FIFA. Yeah. Trained on one man. Four goals in three games. You can't argue with that. Well, that's good because nobody has a clue who he is. Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford, to be exact. You're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's West Ham United facing Burnley. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start. Be accountable for your own performance. But well, all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. I'd, 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 I'd happily enjoy myself, but um, this game likes to not let me enjoy it. In fact, makes me hate it. Ah, oh, bloody hell, fire. There we go. In the lead. Can we keep it, or are we going to fucking lose it? I don't know if you can hear me because this headset's broke. I am in the midst of buying myself a new one. Once I get my refund back. Because I ordered a takeaway Saturday. They rejected my order but took the money out of my account. How nice. And I still haven't got it back to this day. And after complaining to them, they've blamed it on HSBC. And saying that once they take a transaction, it'll take a few days for it to go back into your account. But I don't know why it takes them so long. Why is it when you go to a shop, they can take your money in seconds? But when you require your money back, it takes three to five working days. Like why? Why does this do that? Oh, we're on the ball again. Oh! Going short. Why is nobody there? Looking attack. All right, come on, Jesus. In possession, Bowen. Oh, ref, give it a fucking rest. And now I've had Bowen in a previous uh, career mode. Ain't that fucking good? Why? Why are you parrying it again? Get it! Your hands are there for a reason. It's what you can fucking use it for. That's why you wear gloves. Josh Brownhill. Oh, give it a fucking rest. Cornells. Wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up. We're in the lead. I'm not. I'm not too annoyed so far. I'm going to be in a minute because I can sense they're going to score. Oh, 
Oh, would you shit, pass it. Chamberlain again. And then he just wa walks. He walks to try and help everyone. And now he knows how to save shots like that. Now he knows. Oh, no. Oh, get up, Lingard. Visitors are struggling with possession, really, but to their credit, they've been absolutely blistering on the counter attack. They just sit back, hit you on the break, and it's really working for this team. Ah, it's uh, yeah, it's irritating because I've got it set on possession and stuff like that, and they can't even do that, they can't even keep it, they just lose it. Why? 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 Just catch it. I've never, I've never seen a football game where a keeper parries it away every fucking time it comes near him. Even when there's a clear chance to collect the ball into your hands, it's like punch it, punch it away, hit it away as far as you can. I'll pick the fucking thing up. Then they fucking go away from you, isn't it? Can somebody like move into a better position than that? But better than that, yeah. That's how we get it back. Oh, Wood. 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 Every time he gets on the ball now, it's like, oh, just, uh, just, uh, just touch you over here and then attack about an hour. It's like a fucking snail. Again, Jarrod Bowen is not that quick. The AI seems quicker than you. And then when you buy that player because you think, ah, he's quite pacey actually, I've played against him. And he runs as quick as a fucking, uh, you know, a turtle. And you're like, what? Well, I've had enough of Wood. He's got me a goal, but it's the way that he's losing the ball. I just, I'm, I'm actually sick of it. He, he literally... If he doesn't have it in the box, in a position where he can score, he may as well just not use him. Oh, Alright, Cresswell. Oh, that was shocking the shit. Why is... Did I just see Randolph? On his head. Oh, I'm wee wee fucking... Well, Derek, sometimes half-time just comes at the right time. He's not been at his best. Standards have not been met for sure. He knows that. Good players can go again. And his team need him in the second half. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Ah, well, they've got the team press on. Because I can't get anywhere. Don't jump for it there if you can't get it. Oh, parry it away. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's what we do. Parry it away. Yeah, we don't need to catch it to potentially get it away. We just need to fucking punch it. No. Collect it in your fucking hands. You retard. Well, listen to that, Derek. They think it was a nailed on pen. The ref didn't know. Well, this is the home of live football, and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you. It's West Ham United facing Sheffield United. Yeah, break from league action. I wanted that to go to Pedro. That free ball was shit. West Ham will be happy with I'm sorry. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something. Why? They were, 
Oh, I give up with this game. Your team the players. I, I'm going to find the bit where EA says that your players will find the routes to go through on goal. Because he has just, Ashley Barnes has just walked past two players and there was a huge space for him to run into, but he runs into the two players that are there waiting, not into the gap that was there for him. Oh, it's in. We're 2-0 up. Can we keep it? I'm taking Taylor off because he's knackered. I'm putting Peters on. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch, number three, Jesse To be replaced by number 23, Peters. Keeping the ball moving. Offside. To keep himself onside, they, they, they don't take half the time, did they, to produce an offside flag? Well, this oh, is here we go. Once again, my strikers are just stood in positions where they're just getting the ball taken off them straight away. Like, you are a striker. Move up the field. Exciting game that will be, I'm sure, Derek. Untidy on the ball. That we're going to say he's offside. Though I didn't want it to go to Chamberlain, so I wanted it to go to Vids. I think he will run him through. Vladimir Kuval. Not much time to make up his mind. Teammate available. Oh, oh, goal. Oh, well, three. Well, looks like we've won. And that were a good movement there from Dwight McNeil. He got the ball back. So maybe it was a bit of change of tactics. And we get a win. Can we keep a clean sheet? Is that what we uh, are, are aiming for now? It's offside, Kufal. I think we'll keep a clean sheet, let's be fair. Eric Peters. It's with Barnes. No. Right, right, right. He's the same as Chris Wood. He takes the ball and then touches it about a mile away. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't parry it then, Nick Pope. Robbie Brady. Vidra. It's with Barnes. McNeil. Doing well to keep possession. Is that not a foul? Declan Rice. Uh, a bit dubious that. That looked like a foul to me. Promising attack this. Vladimir Kupa. Good physical play. And there goes. Well, a win. A clean sheet. Three goals. Three points. Uh, a change, because that's the end of December. Uh, and we've we've only got one win. Out of the entirety of December. Which is just mad. He's mad. Um, what a strange, strange, strange situation. Well, we've got the FA Cup next. And the start of the January transfer window. Uh, what do we do? How much money have we got? That might be a good one. Can I get somebody before the Reading game? Ashley Barnes, he's probably asking for time on the pitch. He just played the fucking last game. I think about it, you know. New faces at the club, thanks for straightening things out. 
Don't get distracted. That's that's all I've got to say. Right, so we have 6.54 or uh, 9 mil if we go to uh, 61k wage. So let's have a little look for strikers. I didn't want to do that. I meant, I meant the league. Um, we should be looking for really uh, a player that's old, um, a player that can. It ain't gonna cost me a load of money, you know, eight mil maybe, uh, and that's probably just about right. Danny Welbeck being 73 rated. I think he's a bit more than that. He's uh, a bit better. Um, obviously, Divock Origi isn't for now, but I am going to put him in there because he is um, a future target, should we say. I haven't seen Olivier Giroud. Oh, he's there. Is, uh, is he close to retirement, though? Or, uh, or can I snap him up? Oh, I can. Well, we're going to go and get Olivier Giroud. We're going to try to. I'm going to offer them 7.4, the least that they'll take, potentially. It looks nothing like Frank Lampard. Um, do I negotiate and get him across the table now? He is 78, so he will be a first choice striker. So we can put him as crucial for the first moments. We can put him there as crucial. We'll take the Frenchman on board. Does he want a release clause? He doesn't. No, that's good. Mm. What about his wage? He's getting paid more there. But if we put him on 60, but then give him a decent amount of money to join, signing bonus that, how he wants. You know what? I never accept bonuses, but I'll accept that if he gets five goals for me, he can. He can have. The amount of money that he's requested. I can't remember what it is now because it's gone. But um, I'm not going to start him against uh, Reading. Uh, I'm going to put him in, in the next game in the Premier League. And we'll give that a do. In this, obviously, it's a league game. So we are going to change things around. We don't need everyone playing so we can make severe changes we can change near enough everyone that's what we're gonna do get Sako on as well there's Giroud he can go on the bench to be fair we'll put him on the bench instead of buttons and we'll get um we'll get him on, on there as well we'll put Glennon instead of Taylor there we'll just have a full change won't we Right, uh, instead of vids, let's have a, a young striker on Bongo. I've actually seen him play, just play for, for Burnley. Um, that's it, isn't it, really? I can't really change anybody else. I could put Brownhill on the right, Brady on the left, and then swap McNeil out so he's not too tacky. We'll put uh, Benson there do so we off we are off now to the majestic stadium 
Uh, it's obviously not in this, it's molten. Uh, I feel like FIFA could implement that at some point. I know they say, like, oh, uh, like the Xbox doesn't have enough room for doing this. Uh, like, are you taking the make real GTA on Xbox 360? Two discs. Let the discs have more capacity in them. I think Xbox takes Blu-ray. Just put them on Blu-ray discs like PlayStation. You can have loads more. I think that was the wrong way of doing that, weren't it? Right. So, we are in the FA Cup now. So, we're not in the Carabao anymore. We got knocked out of that. We're in the FA Cup. Olivier Giroud, our new man, starts. He's on the bench uh, for us today. Uh, and we've got a Chris Wood. He isn't been doing very well for me at the moment. But hey up. I'm not expecting a win, or I am, because it is red enough to roll. I say it like red is nothing, but I mean, as in the way that, like, I'm 8th in the Premier League, I could be 9th, now or 10th, but they should be winning this game pretty easily. But with stuff like that, no, we're not going to win anything. I forgot how bad Dale Stephens is in this game. His passing's awful. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Options at the centre. Swift. Looks promising this. A really disappointing effort, you've got to say. Well, it's way, way off target. A real poor effort with his head. Jay Rodriguez. Unable to yeah. keep the ball that time. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Good play it in. And a throw in forthcoming. What can he do from here? Oh. There we go. Can we get somewhere? Oh, well. Nearly. Very, very nearly. Jay Rodriguez nearly getting us that. Derek, how close can you get? Now, let's see what they can do here. Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! Is it offside? I originally thought that were going to be offside then, but it's not. He hasn't brought his flag up. And we're back in it. It's level. Chris Wood with the goal. And a great run, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that far. Not bad neither, so we are back in it. We could have been more up if, if Rodriguez had found the net earlier. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. Oh, here, here they come, Redding. What was that? Nick Pope's just ran towards it and then just stopped. And then he, he just stared as he, this is what I mean. If anybody tells me that FIFA's not scripted, please, please, please watch these streams. Because my keeper has just ran out to go and like stop it. And then watched it as it wandered past him. Just smashes it past him 
gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Goal for Burnley. Well, another equaliser. So it's 2 2. Four goals scored already in this game. I'd like to improve it and try and get a win. Brownhill. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Show me. Chance maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Eh? Crucial intervention inside the box. What what happened there? Wood had it and then he had Mm, that might have been a foul. Run to run on the wing. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Come on, it's it's ready. I feel like we're gonna get a goal again. It comes to absolutely nothing. Counter attacking very much an option. Wood. Wood. <laughs> Benson. And we're getting the ball forward. No, oh, he's just taking too much of a fucking touch. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. I knew that we're going to be off oh, time. I don't know why we had to take the throw in. Ref should have just called the the whistle from there. And as the second half well, half time, two two. Can we do better in this second half? I really hope so because it's really annoying me. Lad, like, there's nobody in my box now. Um, that was a foul. So can we can we all acknowledge that it just got taken off the ball by two players? Oh, there it is! It's in, and we're in the lead. Now it's three for the good. Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build up and an easy finish. And a good goal from yeah, Jay Rodriguez. And now I'd, I'd thought that Chris would have start scoring goals from me and start banging them in now because he, he's seen that Olivier Giroud's come. But uh, clearly, clearly ain't bothered. Oh, go on, Stevens. Oh, no, of course. Of course, Stevens don't have to keep a ball. That was a shocking, shocking lot. There's a like pinpoint. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Aluko. Offside, oh well, he's offside now. <laughs> Substitution for Reading. How? Come on. Bartley. Josh Brownhill. Wood. Brady. Oh, in with a chance. It's up and done for him. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. And pull back. Oh, he's just taking it away from himself. Fanny Rodriguez. Why? You've been doing so well for me this game, and then you do that. Oh, don't you dare. Game after game, the season is 
players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Intercepting it intelligently. Jay Rodriguez. Dale Stevens has it. Robbie Brady. This looks promising. Beautifully disguised ball. A glorious chance. Just couldn't get it through. Spectacular ball fired to the near post. Well, it was a okay. it was half a chance, but it really. Andy Yadom. It's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. The I'll take that. That was uh, that weren't good. Well, I'm going to take Wood off because Wood again is performing like piss poor. Um, so I'm going to put Giroud on, uh, and I think I'm just going to take Rodriguez off as well. I'll put uh, Mumbongo on, and I'm going to take. I don't. Glennon's not a left mid, but I do not want to tire anybody else out by putting them on. Oh, Giroud is number 13. I'll take it, you know. Michael Morrison. Andy Yadom. And slipped through beautifully. All right, blimey. Magnificent defending. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Can they make something happen? And it's still on. This could finish it. But no, the oh. goodness gracious me. Well, you just wonder whether that will come back to haunt them, Derek. He has to do better there. The players are using this energy from the crowd to drive them forward time after time to get back into this. And the ball's gone. To why, didn't, why didn't he give him Stevens back if it were coming back towards him? Alpha Semedo. Swift. And a tidy ball. On the attack in the closing phase. Stevens. Olivier Giroud. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh, that was goddamn awful. Oh. oh, he's kept it. Oh, well, I tried, I tried, and everybody were fucking there. Uh, that were an awful through ball. Oh, fucking hell. He's about as gammy as fucking wood as well. Well, it's a uh, it's a win, and we're through to the FA Cup uh, next round, which is pretty decent. Uh, ten out of ten for Chris Wood. Jesus, I know he got us. I think he got us two goals in the end, but that's not a ten out of ten for me. He kept losing the ball in in uh, good areas. Uh, the defence weren't good either. They lost balls and. And uh, stuff. I was disappointed you left me out of the game. I'm sorry, mate, but tough tits at the end of the day. Nobody really cares about the youth team until FIFA make the youth squad something uh, not a required area, but like if they had like the academy, like uh, like like a league for them. You can't play the games, but it makes the league, and so that their players that are in the academy are happy because they're playing football. Um, but instead, when you sign a youth player that's rated fucking 51, they are annoyed because you're not playing them. Well, I'm sorry if 
You know, there's the entire team that's above you. There's more people that are there in front of you. So we are going to play the last game. That's the last game that I'm doing on this stream. Uh, this will obviously also be available for you later on. Um, uh, on YouTube as well. It'll be up later tonight. It takes forever for my uh, for my computer to even acknowledge that uh, I'm trying to upload videos and stuff like that. It takes forever to download it as well. Um, but we'll play this Leicester City game. Hopefully, we'll get um, some more points on the board because we haven't been playing well we have been struggling as of late uh, i'm gonna put olivier Giroud on uh, and I'm, I'm taking i'll put barnes on for now and we'll see where we get to with them Let's go. Well, like Turf Moor again. That's nice. But I thought I'd play this game because uh, we obviously messed up the first Tottenham game by uh, having some, for some strange reason, the settings really low. But well, let's try and see what we get here. Westwood. Ashley Barnes. Well, you know, most teams have a preferred way of playing. The visitors do like to press high. They try to force errors. Lee, do you anticipate seeing that from them in this game? Yeah, do, Derek, really do. It's not doing too well, are we? We've, we've kept the ball away from them. And they're losing the ball in their vital areas. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Stephen oh, now we're just losing it. There, Evans. that's not good. And a, a good block there from... McNeil. Let's go to Alan James Tarkowski. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. Eight minutes played. Oh, he's just lost the ball there, ran it. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, the term wily customer is often overused in football, but I do think it applies to Jamie Vardy. Lee, what do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, he's got amazing finishing ability, and when a player's got that, it means you have to go that extra yard tighter. And when you do that, you leave space behind you, so it puts the defender in two minds. Mindy. Hamza Chowdhury. Justin. Barnes. And it didn't happen for them in attack. Spot on with that. Why? Why did La why did Westwood then not pass to anybody else but Goodmanson? Good block there from uh, Nick Pope. Right, they're just not doing anything again. They're not helping me out, and it's where they're faltering. And they're losing the ball right in the vital areas. Oh, 
Now we're playing shit again. We've gone from beating West Ham 3 0 to struggling so much. I'd have been asking for a penalty there as well. He did get brought down in the box. Why? He wouldn't let anybody go near the ball then because it were in the air. Receiving news of a goal in the United match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for West Ham United. 34 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. What can they do from here? <laughs> Untidy in possession. Mendy. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, what? No, no, stop letting them fucking walk past you. Oh, fucking hell. No, what they need is to give the fucking heads a wobble and learn how to pass in a straight line, how to defend. They need to go back to fucking basics. See, positioning as well. They need to know what is going on because they have no fucking clue. Well, they will have just one additional minute. James Madison, Mendy. Good pressure high up the pitch. And the whistle. Is I've never been so annoyed with a game. I've just gone from winning two games to now really, 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 really struggling. Hamza Chowdhury. Right, they've just won the ball back there, but it now has turned my team pressing on. They haven't won the ball back. They've just tipped it onwards. Right, Dwight McNeil's pissed me off there because he didn't move. They just stand still. They don't do anything. That was a shock. Yep, yep, obviously. This team is awful. Get the ball, come on. Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Foul 
well it is then. I wouldn't know whether that's a foul. Catch it! What are you fucking doing? Parrying it away and then going yes because you blocked it. Catch the fucking ball. How hard is it? However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they've produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Potential danger here. And space for the cross. Giroud takes in. Yes! Come on! Back in it, and Bradley's got two. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. Lovely turn and finish there from three. Ashley Barnes. Number 10, Ashley Barnes. Let's get an update from the Amex Stadium where there's been a goal. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's the second goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 71 minutes played, 2-1. Many thanks, Alan. Mindy. They've won back possession. Counter attacking, very much an option. Oh. The counter attack came to nothing. That's when I know a goal is coming for them, is when I start losing possession in stupid areas like that. This is certainly the home of live football, EA TV, and looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Burnley taking on Brighton. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. So hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Zero. Good one, Son. Goal in and the Newcastle game. Alan McAdamic can tell us more. It's a second goal for Everton. 78 minutes played. 3-2. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Giroud. Chances on. It's in. Yes! Bashley's got a trick. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It what a finish. And what a comeback as well. He hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Just a replacement. I've taken off from Link Shockley Chamberlain. Got on Josh Brownhill. Well, just listen to the atmosphere, Derek. It's been such a tight game. But can they see this out now? The fans are certainly doing their bit. Oh, I thought the Frenchmen were getting a goal then. And it's a case of just five we are piling the pressure on now for them. Well, there's the energy surge from the crowd again, urging their team on. Well, it's good for them to counter attack here. They're still pressing for a goal here. Fractionally offside. Oh, it's offside, it's offside. Can we keep it up? Well, Giroud's only done realistically one good thing for me in this game. Oh, it's a corner. I thought that was... Um, but the last touch then was from under. Come on, come on, ref, what are you doing? Yes, what a win and a lovely hat trick from Ashley Barnes. So we're coming back. We're getting points on the board. And what a good win it was in the end.
all that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the stream. We finish in exactly the same position we was in at the start of this. We are in and remain in eighth place. Uh, two points away from Leicester City, which is a change because we're three points away. Uh, two points away from City. We are now three away from them. And we are two points uh, above Wolves and or more above Everton. So we are quite in a decent position uh, if we can keep it up for the rest of the season. Uh, join me next uh, time, whether it be Saturday uh, or next Tuesday for more Road to Glory, possibly Saturday at this rate. Uh, but join me then. The next few games will be Brighton, Liverpool, Manchester United. And there is probably going to be an FA Cup fixture in that. But we are coming uh, near enough to the end of uh, this first season. Uh, and hopefully we can get somewhere with it. Chris Wood's a bit annoying, didn't he? Uh. But thank you for watching me here at BF Gaming. Catch this stream uh, later on on YouTube. I'm going to, as soon as I've finished it, I'm going to download it, get it up and installed, ready for me uh, to put it up on there. Uh, and you can catch the last three episodes on there as well. So thank you very much for watching today. Peace out, boys and girls. See you later.